So let's review related records and lookup fields and how to set up both. So it's important we review the two side by side because when you first get in the platform, you might not know which would be better for your specific use case. So first let's take a look at the two apps we'll be using to review related records and lookup fields. So we have an outbound companies app and an outbound leads app. The outbound companies app lists out the companies that are being targeted. So it contains a related record field that pulls over lead reach out progress from the outbound leads app. And then we have the outbound leads app. And this contains the names of specific leads within a company and where they are with being reached out to. So this app contains a lookup field that pulls over company name and phone number from the outbound companies app. So let's go to outbound companies and start by reviewing related records. So what is a related record? So a related record field uses a matching key field to automatically pull record data from one application into the record of another. So this is how you can relate your database apps together. So within this app, there's a related record here that pulls over information from the outbound leads app. So in order to pull information from one app to another, you're gonna to need to set fetch criteria. So fetch criteria refers to the two fields from each app that need to match in order for the information pull to happen. So when the fields match, data from the data source app will be displayed in the related records table. So in this app, the fetch criteria here is company name. So when the company name in the leads app matches the company name in this company app, it will display information from the Leads app over here in the Customer app. So now let's take a look at how to configure related records. So the requirements for related records are, first you're going to need two Kintone apps, so one data source app to pull information from and one app to display the data. So you can use the same app for both. And then each application must have fields with a valid combination to use as the fetch criteria. So let's take a look at the settings for a related record. So we're going to go to the gear wheel to the right. And then from this forms tab, normally we drag and drop over the related records field. But in this case, we're going to review the settings we already have set up for the app. So we're going to go down to the related records field, hover over the gear wheel and select settings. So you're going to set the following options. So first, you're going to enter the desired name. You can also choose to hide the field name. Next, you're going to select the data source app. So select the app you wish to pull the data from. In this case, we're pulling it from the outbound leads app. And then next, we have fetch criteria. So you're going to set the criteria to pull records in. So from the first drop down, select the field from the current app. And then from the second drop down, you're going to select the field from the data source app. So when these two fields equal each other, the associated records will display in the current app fields. Um, the associated records will display in the current app. So the fields that can be used for fetch criteria are text, number, calculated, link, or record number. And then additionally, depending on the field type chosen, this will depend on what you can select from the data source app. So as an example, if you choose a text field from the current app, you must choose a text link or lookup as the option from the data source app. So next we have filter. So you can set optional filters to view only the data that meets the filter conditions in the related record table. Next we have data source app fields to display. So using the dropdown, you can select one or more fields to display in the current app. So in the related records table, these are going to be the column data that's displayed. And then next we have display order. So you can set an optional sorting to override the default, which is sort by descending record number. And then lastly here, you can choose max records to display at a time. You can choose between 5, 10, 20, and 30. When you're all set with these settings, we're going to go ahead and click save. We'll save our form and we'll go ahead and update the app. So for further details, you can visit our article configuring a related records field in the Kintone Help Center. So next we're gonna go over what is a lookup field. So let's hop over to the outbound leads app to review the lookup field. 
So you can configure lookup fields to map fields from one application to another. Lookup fields are a one-time pull of data from a data source app into fields in a destination app. So by autofilling data from one app to another, this is going to save the time of entering the data and it's also going to prevent any inputting errors. So in the Outbound Leads app, you can look up a company name to pull over information from the Outbound Companies app. So let's go ahead and create a new record to see how this works. So to look up information with a lookup field, you're going to enter the full name or partial string in this lookup field um, picker. So if there's only one company that matches the partial string entered, the information is automatically entered on the form as specified in the settings. So let's go ahead and try sweet. So this means for the first option, there was only one matching company with the partial string, so it automatically pulled over the details. Now if there's more than one company that matches the string entered, you're going to see a list of company names pop up to choose from as the desired lookup. And then if you don't provide any string, so we'll clear this out, you can just click lookup and you'll see a list of all your lookup options to choose from. So only one keyword can be specified in the lookup. In addition, search keywords have the same limitations as the search bar feature. So data copied with the lookup field is saved independently from the source app. So even if parts of data are changed or deleted in the source app, data that was previously, previously retrieved is retained until a user clicks lookup within the record again. So if data in a record in the data source app is updated, the record in the destination app will not automatically update. In order for you to have that data update, you're going to need to navigate back to the destination app. You'll need to edit the record. You'd have to click look up again. So it'll, when you click look up again, it's going to um, repopulate uh, with the data from the data source app. And then it would update this. So say we updated the company number in outbound companies, we relook it up, it will update the number here, and then you'll go ahead and click save. So we'll go ahead and cancel this new record out for now. So now let's review how to configure the lookup fields. So from the app, we're going to go to the gear wheel to the right. From the forms tab, normally we'd pull over and drag and drop this lookup field. But for this case, we're just going to take a look at the settings we already have set for this example. Hover over the gear wheel and click settings. And we're going to set the following options. So first we have name, so you're gonna enter the desired field name. You can also choose to hide the field name or to require this field to be filled out. Then we have data source app. So this is where you select the app you wish to pull the data from. So we're pulling our data from the outbound companies app. Next we have key field. So select a field in the data source app that will be the key identifier in the two apps relationship. So this is what you will be typing into the field to look up the data. So you can choose from a text number calculated lookup link or record number field. So just note once set the data source app and the key field settings cannot be changed in the lookup settings. So you will need to delete the current lookup field and drag and drop over a new one and reconfigure those settings if you made a mistake with the data source app and the key field. So in this case, I did previously set these settings and that's why I can't reselect something new. And then we have field mappings. So from the first drop down, you're gonna select the field in the current app that you wish to map. And then from the second, we're gonna select the field from the data source app to display in the current apps field. So these fields must be the same field type so if you need to pull over a number field from the data source app into the current app, you can't pull it into a text field. You would need a number field as the destination field. So you will be pulling data from the source app into already created fields in your app. So if you go to set these up and you don't yet have those fields, you're going to want to add in those fields before you finish your lookup settings. And then we have fields shown in lookup picker. So using the drop down, you can select one or more fields to display when selecting which record to pull information from. 
So when we had that pop-up box um, come up when I clicked the lookup, it displayed the company, state, and website because that's what I asked it to display here in our settings. And then we have filter. So you can set optional filters to view only the data that meets the filter conditions in that lookup picker. So when I clicked lookup, it showed me all of the records that I had to choose from. Whereas if I came here and created a filter, it would only show me those records that agree with this filter setting. And then lastly, we have sort by. So you can set the optional sort to override the default, which is descending by record number. So when you're all set setting that, we're gonna save, save the form, and we'll go ahead and update the app. So lastly, we're gonna review the differences between related records in lookup fields. So these key differences are gonna help you determine which would be best for your specific use case. So the main thing to remember is the related records will list records from another app onto an app form, whereas the lookup field retrieves data from another app and places it in an app. So one retrieves and one just lists out information. So with that, the data from related records lives within the data source app, but with the lookup, the data will be pulled over and then that data lives in the app containing the lookup field. And with related records, you can pull in information from the same app you're setting the related record in, whereas with the lookup, you must pull the data from another app. So they both let you navigate to the original record the data came from. With a lookup, you'll just click the lookup name. So in our case, we'll see the company name populate. It's gonna highlight in blue. When you click that company name, it's gonna take you to that record where the data came from. And then in a related record, you're gonna click the little page icon to the left of the record data in the table. Next, information pulled from a lookup can be used when graphing and can be seen in the list view of an app, whereas information from a related record cannot. Related records updates the info as it changes in the data source app while the lookup does not update automatically. So with lookup, you have to update the record, reclick lookup, and then save it for it to update to those um, updated details. And then lastly, for a related record, you need to have permission to view the app to see the results. So lookup is a copy paste, so you don't need to, you don't need to have view permission from the data source app to see the information. So just to go a little bit further on that, so with the related record, since the data in the related record lives in the data source app, you'd have to have permission to that data source app to be able to view the related record data. So now we're gonna go into more specific use cases for both. So they're often used together. So we often use them together because when you do a related record, you need to have the exact same value as a fetch criteria. So by using the lookup in the data source app, you know what the fetch criteria is because it was pulled directly over. So some good uses for a related record. So it's good when you need information about different pieces that are related. So for example, car or machine parts. If you need to see if there's another record with the same value, so an example would be an email address. So you can verify whether someone is already in the database with the same email. So from our developer app, we do this to see if someone has already created a license with that specific email. And then surveys. So surveys to see results from different people at a company. So if you have a main customer app, you can pull over survey results from that customer, from the survey response app to the customer record and see a, a display list of those responses. And then some good uses for the lookup field. So it's good for financial situations. So for example, a sales tax app. So you'd have a sales tax app that displays the sales tax for each state. And you pull that sales tax over into an order form app. So the sales tax may change over time, but it's not gonna update the previous records created in the order form app. So the totals in your order form app won't be changed. 
And it's just good anytime you just need to pull over information from one app to another. So as I mentioned earlier, it's going to eliminate um, any enter um, entry error. And then when you need to pull over data from other apps to use for reporting with graphs or to display in the record list view of another app, that's also where the lookup field is going to come in handy. So this concludes our training on related records and lookup fields.